Hey, Philip. So I downloaded the images which you sent to me in the chat. So I'm going to go for, from scratch. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm coughing here because I have cat allergies. We got a new cat recently. Anyways. Okay, so I'm opening up the Teleplay app for the first time. Click open. Now, make sure to say while using app, while using app, and, and allow for, to the opening three prompts that you see. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to click on pick post. And while we're at it, just click on open library. And let's start with this one. <coughs> Sorry. So there are two ways to use pick post. Number one are to add foreground elements on top of existing photos or videos. And the second way is to remove a background from an existing photo, place it onto a background within the app, and then add foreground elements. Let me show you how to do both. <clears throat> so for this one, so for this one, so just to, so before we get started, let me show you a few quick things. Number one, uh, this uh, changes the aspect ratio. So you can make it full, you can make it one-to-one, -one, etc. So what if we make this one, I don't know, one-to-one. -one. You can do three to four. I think that's more like TikTok size. Let's just do one-to-one -to, -one to keep it simple. You can move the navigation bar like that if you want. Okay. So. <clears throat> okay, so the next thing we want to do is make sure that the pick pause button is on right there. And then go to email. And then enter the email address you used to purchase PicPulse. Okay. And that's it. So within the gear icon, the only things you need to look at are PicPulse and email. You can ignore the rest of the buttons. So now we can just add some foreground effects. So for this scene, I'm thinking, you know, you can have some roses falling. You can have something kind of haunted or ethereal. So... You can search for foreground effects using the magnifying glass, but let me just show you uh, immediately where I think some cool effects are for you. So what if we check out the, the love foreground category, get some roses flying? So what if we do red petals falling towards camera? Okay, you can see it's downloading. And once you download an effect, uh, you never have to download it again because um, you for some effects you have to wait like maybe 30 seconds for it to load um, and notice for some effects it's kind of glitching like it is now but uh i'll have that solved by next week okay okay you just have to wait and then it's going to show up like like this you can rotate the foreground effect. Oh, I actually really like this scene. So let's say you like this scene right here. All you have to do is hold the record button for two seconds. And then when you're satisfied with the length of the recording, just tap. And then it's going to appear where the rest of your photos and videos are saved. So here it is. <clears throat> okay. For two seconds. And then when you're satisfied with the length of the recording, just... Okay, and that's the gist of it right there. Uh, some other things I wanted to show you um, when adding foreground effects. So let's say you have a foreground effect which you want to move. So during a, if you press the, if it's recording, you can move the effect and that effect, that movement will also appear in the final recording. So it's kind of like, that's a cool feature. Um, to remove a foreground effect, just hold and then click the X that appears. <clears throat> um, you can also have, so you can have up to two foreground effects at the same time. I'm going to remove the limitation by this week. Um, so it really depends on your device, um, if it can handle many foreground elements. For example, this is a low budget uh, tablet, which is why two foreground elements is like a max for this recommended, but not for some other budget, I mean, high-end devices. So um, 
Something else I want to show you. Okay, what if we check out the spooky category? What if we do Halloween? What if we do this one? Halloween projector ghost Grona Lisa one. That's a pretty long name for an effect, but let's see how it is. Okay, let's rotate it. Okay, so I think we can do something cool with this. So look, I'm gonna hold the record button for two seconds. Okay. Now I'm going to move this foreground element to add some additional movement. Okay. And let's see how it turned out. <clears throat> oh, see, like that, the finger movement works really well on Android. So this is a feature the movement with your fingers that's actually on Android and not iOS, because I know some customers are, are like, um, you know, uh, like iOS is the elite platform, there are more features there, but it's actually both iOS and Android at this point are pretty much the same in terms of what you can do. And uh, iOS, I mean, Android has actually, I think, more capabilities now than, I mean, Android has more capabilities than iOS now. <clears throat> Okay, so, so in other foreground categories, which I think can work well for you, are maybe the reveal category. So something I wanna, I also wanna show you. So notice how this says Airy Curtain sixty eight point five, and this says Airy Curtain ninety eight. Uh, you wanna, if you're using a non, if you're using a device which you think isn't like um, doesn't have a super high graphics, doesn't. If you're using a device which does not have a super high-end graphics processor, then I would select the lower megabyte version of this effect. For example, let's do this one. So this Airy Curtain effect 68.5 will work a lot smoother and better than the other version, which is almost 100 megabytes. And it really depends on what type of graphic graphics processor you have on your device. Okay, so let's see how this one works. Okay, I, I'm actually digging this scene. I think this can work well. So to, 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 to do a photo, just tap on the red button and then you're good to go. <clears throat> um, you can ignore the camera icon right there. You can ignore that. Pretty soon PicPos will be its own app instead of being within a green screen app. But for now, uh, it works pretty well. You just have to ignore a couple buttons. So if you want to use music, just go here, uh, press download and then press play. Right now when you record a video, it will record like what I'm saying right now and the music. We're working, the next update will have more precise sound controls. So you can like mute the mic, etc. You get the idea. So the next thing I want to show you, <clears throat> next thing I want to show you is adding, uh, take removing a background and then adding foreground elements. So let's meet, let me show you how to do that. So all you have to do is go, let's go to the home screen, go to your foregrounds. Uh, so if you do upload file, you can upload JPEGs, GIFs, um, JPEGs, GIFs, and PNG files. For example, here is an existing uh, PNG file right here, a bowling ball. Which may, doesn't make any sense here, but you get the idea. However, let's say you wanna, you have a picture that's not a PNG file. So th what this button does it, is it uses AI to remove a background. So let's see how well it works with that image you sent me. So let's try again. So I believe, uh, so sometimes the background removal tool doesn't work if it's not clear, like, um, what background needs to be removed. 
Uh, let me try it on a more simple image. Okay, here's a simple cow image, so let's see what it does. Okay, see, cow removed. So, <clears throat> something else I want to point out is the images that you sent me in the chat were like dot w e p like they were w e b p format files. So whenever you're using this app, you want to make sure that you're using either, um, especially with the background removal tool, make sure you're uploading a JPEG file, not like a PNG or any other type of file. Just make sure if you're using background background free to do a JPEG file. Um, let me try one more time on maybe this image right here. I think the reason it did not, no. In that case, there's just too many foreground, there's just too many, um, like it's not clear here where, what background needs to be removed. Uh, what I found uh, from customers using this is you, okay, I get, the, I, I, I know why it's not working. So the reason it didn't remove a background here is because there was almost no background to remove. Uh, you want more, like you want more um, space. Uh, if that makes sense, like, um, for example, here, this image, this will work because it's clear, the main subject is very clear from the rest of the background. Okay, okay. So see, that works perfectly. So just to reiterate, if you're using the background removal tool, um, the key thing is to use an image kind of like a like this for example where it's clear that the by eye that the subject is different from the rest of the background or something like this because something like um the, in the images you sent me it's not kind it's kind of not clear where the background is there's not enough contrast but the ai background removal tool will, will work better over time as soon as probably next week. So, uh, give me a sec. Okay, so if you send me another image, I can test it out in the background removal tool again so that you can see how it works. Just make sure you, you send me a JPEG file. So I'm gonna do another example. Um, So I'm going to, so now that I showed you how to add your own, your own foreground elements, let me re re reiterate. So it's a, with this upload file button, you can upload JPEGs, PNGs, or GIFs. With this, you can upload a JPEG file and it removes a background for now, as long as it's clear where the background is. Um, so let me go back to your, your backgrounds. Okay, let's say we want to add, um, uh, oh, speaking of which, I'm, I'm adding, within about two days, there will be um, foreground elements of cannabis leaves falling, which I think is obviously perfect for this scene. Uh, for now, let me see what we can do with this. Okay, so what if we add like a smoky effect? So you can either search for smoke in here, or you can search for, if you go to dust and debris, which is right here. So what if we do smoke rise up 48.9 because this is, this device does not have the best graphics processor. And again, once you download it, you don't have to download it again. It just instantly works. I'll show you. Okay. 
a very subtle effect, but let, let's see. Okay, the effect, yep, there we go. There's the smoke. And you can play around with other smoke effects. Let's see. What if we do smoke from below? Like another variation of the effect, which I just showed you. So sometimes this is like a low budget device. So sometimes on this particular device, notice how it's kind of glitchy when it's downloading. But in this case, don't worry, just wait. You wait another like 20 seconds and then it'll appear on the canvas. Almost there. Oh, I think I like this better because the smoke is like more consistent, if that makes sense. And then let me show, so let's remove this foreground effect. And now because it's already downloaded, just click on this and you don't have to wait as long as you just did there. Let's make a recording. And that's it. Let's see what we got. <laughs> I don't know, I really like this scene. Obviously you can make it as long as you want. This was like, I don't know, five seconds, but I think the smoke works like perfect for this candle. Um, so yeah, sorry I couldn't get the background removal to work for uh, your the particular images you sent. If you send me a couple more variations, you know, you can test it out yourself. But the key thing I found is like the background behind this subject here just has to be more consistent in terms of color. Uh, so it's more obvious that it's a background. Um, and, and obviously this tool will get much better over time. Um, and that's it. Uh, please let me know if this video helps and I'm at your service.